Okay, we are going to be changing oil in the Hustler Raptor, and it's not hard at all to change oil. Let me show you how to do it. It's easy and little, if any, mess. So the first thing you need to do is locate the filler spout. Mine has has the little nipple on the side of it, and this is where you loosen it to let oil flow from the engine through the nipple, through the hose into your container. Some of them may not have this, I'm not sure, uh, but this is what mine has, and this is the uh, 691V Kawasaki. So, anyway, you'll unscrew this. Get over here. Unscrew that, it's a, um, uh, let's see, 10 millimeter. And then once you get it broke loose, get it a little bit loose, you can use a um, like a Phillips head screwdriver if you got a little short one. It has to be a pretty short one. Phillips head screwdriver to bring it out the rest of the way. You'll see oil coming through here. You should have gotten a tube with the uh, with the mower when you bought it. And uh, if not, then uh, you'll have to uh, you'll have to get a tube. Looks like probably a three eighths inch tube uh, that fits over this drains down, uh, unscrew this, oil comes out, and then screw that back in, put oil in. So let me show you the process. Here's the hose that should have come with it. It just uh, pushes on that nipple, and it'll drain down like that into the receptacle of your choice. Let me show you what I used and uh, worked out real well. I just used a tall Folgers can. This is a was that a three pound? Yeah, three pound Folgers can. The tall one, not the little short one. Because you can't, I've got an oil, oil drain pan that I use for my vehicles and it will not go under there. Will not slide under there. So you can take this right here and go in from the side and place it perfectly for that hose. You'll just put the hose not going to be able to really show that well, but the hose will come off your engine and the hose will just sit here like this and fill the, fill the can. Scan. Slide it under there. I've got my mower deck raised up all the way. Slide it up, and it probably doesn't matter. It might, but I've cranked it up all the way. Slide it up under there, under the hose. Make sure you're under the hose. Make sure the hose is not, um, is not going to drip down on the drive blade, the drive belt. Okay, because you don't want to get oil on your belt, on your drive belt. So let me show you the uh, putting the hose on it, and we'll uh, we'll drain the oil. So put the hose on just like that. Push it up on there tight. The end of the hose should be in. Push the hose up on it pretty much all the way. The end of the hose should be inside the coffee can. If you've got a tall coffee can, it should be tall enough for the hose to be inside. The hose is inside the coffee can, like that. Inside the rim, the top of the coffee can. Just like that. Open up this valve. Again, it's a 10 millimeter. And again, once you get it loose, you can almost turn it by hand. You can turn it by hand once you get it out a little ways. Once you get it open, I'm turning it by hand now. Or you can get a small screwdriver. This is a flat blade. But it's got an X in it for a Phillips. So you can get a small screwdriver in there and loosen it also. And loosen it up until the oil starts flowing. Your engine needs to be warm and the oil will drain out. So when you're through, wait, you know, five minutes, something like that, let it drain, let it trickle out. Close that back up until it gets tight. And then I would come back in here with your 10 mil wrench 
and tighten it up till it stops. Don't put a, you know, don't put a lot of pressure on it. It's tight enough right now, and it's plastic. That little nut's plastic, so I just I'm putting just just a little bit of pressure on it. But it stopped. It's tight. I'm gonna take the hose off and just let it fall down in the bucket in the um, coffee can and we're done ready to put some oil back in it and there you go again it's about a third of the way full about right there and uh, I'm not changing the filter uh, it's not time yet you change the oil the first time at five hours so there's the oil there's the spout the hose again that mine came with the mower you should too in fact it came with a little black funnel attached to it if your hustler does not have an hour meter on it i have got a great video showing how easy it is to put that hour meter on there you can see it at the end of the video I'll try to put it up there right about there right about now but also at the end of the video how to put an hour meter on a hustler raptor and probably most any zero turn that's the only way you're gonna know when to change oil and when to do your maintenance so here's the funnel that came with it in fact the hose was attached to the funnel take off your dipstick wipe it off And then it calls, the book says 2.2 quarts. I'm probably going to put a little less than two in it and then check and make sure. I don't want to overfill. This time I am going full synthetic. At this point, you want to be very sure that you turn that, that you close that exit hole up, that the oil is not running out under your mower. <laughs> Make sure you tighten up that thing. This is my first time putting synthetic in it. And I'm a little late on the first oil change. First oil change is supposed to be at 5 hours. And I am at about 12, 10 or 12. I'm a little late on it. I'll let it get away with me. Alright, it's been sitting there for about a minute. Put it in, screw it down, bring it out, and I am right at the top of the line for full. So, now when I crank it up, and I will, and check it again, crank it up, some of that oil should circulate and, and probably go down a little bit, but that mark is full, and I was at or above that mark with about, with less than two quarts in it. Crank it up, and I'll bring you back. And that is still just above the fill line. I mean the full line. Now if I just put it in there and don't screw it down, it's perfect. It's right on the fill line. So when you screw it down in there, it gives it a little another half inch. And brings it up to showing more than full. So anyway, that's the that is how to do it. It's got some fresh synthetic oil in it, and we're ready to mow for book says another hundred hours. Let's give it a shot. Now, if you needed to change the filter, let me show you that. Right between your dipstick and your oil spout down on the bottom is this filter. That is the filter right there. And it will just spin on, spin off. And I have, I'm not gonna change the filter because it's not time yet. And uh, when it is, it just looks like it's spin on. I mean, take off, spin back on. I guess that's it. We're ready to go mow. And it needs a mowing. All right, we're gone.